2K Sports Network, presenting to you from Steel Mill Park. Today's game is hosted by the Iron Men. They'll be defending against the Minutemen. I'm Dan Stevens, and joining me is my good friend, Peter O'Keefe. Here are today's lineups, and there are some real standouts, Peter. Joe Schmidt and Deacon Jones are consistent all-pro performers for the Minutemen. Well, if the other team isn't watching themselves, Dan, these two defenders will unravel the whole game and put up a defensive touchdown or two. They're that good. But looking at the other team, we see they're not short on skill either. Dan Marino and Mike Ditka lead the charge for the Ironman. Well, these two players are without compare. They are all pros in every way. They elevate the game to a whole new height. Thanks, Peter. Now let's go to the coin toss. Dan, ready to go? Gentlemen, please make your call. We pick tails. Tails it is. Well received. The Minutemen have won the toss and select to receive. Kicks off, and the game is underway. Harris decides to take it out of the end zone. Another move, dragged down at the 23. Cliff Harris took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Minutemen send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Jensen reels in the football and that's good for a gain of five. It looks like we have an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Legarius Sharp can't help but go down after that. He's a resilient player, but this will sideline him. second down and gains about three yards. Aaron Morrison made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. They don't allow them to convert, but they did allow them to get very close. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. Third down and they line up with three tight ends. Picks up the first down. You're up against one of the greatest of all time, and Marcus Allen's chewing you up. First and ten from the minute now, 36 yards. Rippon rifles it out left side and it's off. Incomplete. We have a flag on the play. Let's listen to the call. Roughing the passer, number 96, defense. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Justin Walker rocked the quarterback's cradle after the ball left his hand, so he drew the flag for roughing the passer. They're going to call that one every time. First and ten from the Iron Man, 49 yards. Waters kicks it away on 
and the coverage incomplete. Charlie Waters came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice throw down the field, but the defense plays it perfectly. Great coverage downfield that time. Second down, right. just a single receiver on the field. Now, we'll get the handoff and gets past the line. Drag down at the 46. Jensen has this one fly off his fingertips incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Trevor Jensen reached out and it barely glanced off his fingertips. Oh, so close. If they had completed that one, Peter, and well, I tell you, they very easily could have had a first down. There was some room to run if they brought it in. Enough room to get the first, that's for sure. What a heartbreaker. Cheek gets ready to punt it away. Gets the ball and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Terry Chief saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Iron Men will begin the drive at their own 20 yard line. Webb makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Sharp was shaken up earlier and we've gotten a report on his condition. What did they say, Peter? He came off the field complaining of lower leg pain and the trainers are saying he's got a high ankle sprain. They are taping him up again and they've told our producers that he will be ready to go back in later in the game. Well, we'll hope for the best. Thanks, Peter. Marino throws a high, long one to the right, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Come on, D. Just our practice. No worries of yards. Anderson catches it in the flat and tries to get free, forced out at the 42. Eugene Henderson made the catch and iced the cake with a few more yards. Way to fight for more, buddy. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down from the shotgun. Marino throws this one right side line and it's caught at the 31. Locked down hard at the 23. First down. Mike Ditka is wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job or not. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator.
Dan Marino throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. That's the first score of the game, and it was very nicely done, Peter. Great execution there. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Don't get down, God. This is nothing. Nothing. When we get the lead, let's get back out there and crack some heads. It's a boomer down the field. Harris decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks the tackle. Tackled at the 20. Penalty marker down on the play. Let's listen to the call. Holding number 65. Receiving team. Not the distance to the goal. From the spot of the foul. First down. Clyde Reese held his man on that play. And hey, you can't do that. That was offensive holding any day of the week. The Minutemen had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 10-yard line. Griffin throws a heat and connects at the 16, and he stopped right there. Second and two from one minute and 18 yards. Takes his carry of the game and barely picks up the first down. It looks like we have an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Aaron Morrison just got tangled up on that last play, and you don't envy him right now. First down, 10 yards to go. Rippon throws a heater right sideline and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Trevor Jensen had a defender closing in but was still able to haul that one in. Great execution. They move the ball and it will be second down. Second and six. Ball at the 24 yard. Hunter catches it over the middle and is at the 25, and he stopped right there. Mark Rippon has obviously got the arm to get the job done in tight spaces. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Fifth carry and converts the third and long. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Nice play, and they will convert on third. Great execution, Dan. They did everything right. First down, two wideouts on the field. Nick 
Nichols makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Tony Nichols came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second and ten. Griffin throws a bullet to the flat, and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Mark Griffin demonstrated his arm strength back there with a solid cross-field pass. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. They get the first on third and long. First down, minute men. Marcus Allen makes a good gain here and gets past the marker. Nice execution. Let's have a look. Well, he got what he needed, and then he went out of bounds. Nice play. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. First down, two tight ends in the game. Greg Cragen gets a sack in the backfield. The quarterback had nowhere to go on this one. Let's watch. Yep, the D shut the offense down on that play. They couldn't do anything. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. it off the toss and passes the line right down at the 48. It looks like we have an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Fernando Lopez will have to come out of the game. It was hard to tell exactly what happened. Gobble up a ton of yards on this play. This is a formidable rushing game, Dan. That's the first time he's seen the end zone, and you know it was going to happen sooner or later. Oh, he expects to have something under that TD stat at the end of every game. Christie is back for the point after. Zorn will hold the kick. the extra point and it's yeah, good. It's good.
Christie crushes this one deep. Gold is coming out with it. Breaks a tackle. Stopped at the 23. Willie Gall took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Iron Men add an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at their own 23-yard line. Wallace has his number called on first down and will lose about a yard here. Akbar Emerson read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Marino rifles it out left side, and this one is incomplete. Plenty more was the man on that play coming across the middle, but the ball couldn't find him. Incomplete. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Third and 11. Ball up at 22 yards. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. Faison tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Kamal Faison came in and got a hand on that football. And left no chance for a reception there. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Hey. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Berger takes the long snap and hits a beauty. Harris fields the D run at the 29. Spin, brought down at the 50. Cliff Harris gets a great kick delivered to him, and after it comes down, He's going to get a few of those yards back. This is a pretty nice return considering the circumstances. you got to love players like him. The Minutemen got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at the 50-yard line. Gains a bunch on the play, and that will bring up first down. Oh, look at this guy go to town. This is a great run. What an athlete, Peter. A fantastic display. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 94 yards on eight carries. Rippon throws a heater, and the ball's caught at the 30, and he's stopped right there. Morrison had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now we've gotten word on his condition. Peter? Apparently he's suffering from a sprained elbow. They are finishing taping him, and it appears he should be ready to come back very soon. Well, we'll hope for the best. Thanks, Peter. Catches it in the flat and loses yards on that one. Charlie Waters keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. 
Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, oh. and that will bring up third down. Zips it to the left sideline and it's intercepted. Brought down at the 28. Big, big, baby. Big, big. Scott Poole picks off the pass because he plays the zone so well here. Completely snookering the quarterback. That's just how you do it, folks. You can't coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Iron Men are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own 28-yard line. Wallace will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. Marino lets it go here, and it's complete at the 45, 30, 20, 15, 5, touchdown! Plenty more. Going to make a great run after the catch. Oh, there, he snags the football, then fires up the Jets. That's big-time talent. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. the point after and it's good Rushes this one deep. Harris downs it for a touchback. The Minutemen, they have taken the field and they've been having a tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as we start at their own 20-yard line. Jensen catches it in the flat, and that will be a gain of three yards. Lopez had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now we've gotten word on his condition. Peter? Well, the word is that he's suffering from a hairline fracture in his arm. They are putting a brace on him, but it's unclear whether he'll be able to get back into this one. Well, we'll hope for the best. Thanks, Peter. Second down with two tight ends to the right. <laughs> Allen gains eight yards, and that will bring up first down. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. He gets the call again, and they're running early and often on this one. This is a great start. Well, when you set up the running game like this, you can really take over. Allen gets the call on the first down, and will gain close to six. Six yards on the play. Waters credited with the tackle. Second and four. Going loses about. 
about three, and that will bring up third down. You be ready out there. You hear me? The Minutemen, 34 yards. Shields catches it left sideline and they get the first on third and long. Ten yards on the play. First down, minute man. Salim Shields is in man-to-man -man coverage on this play and makes the most of it. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a great catch. That guy has real skill. The short game is working okay for them. It's been methodical, but they are moving the ball. Yeah, they need to strike deep at some point, though, to loosen up that secondary. Throws this one over the middle, and it's caught at the 47, hunted down at the 40. Trevor Jensen made a couple of nice moves after the catch to break free for additional yardage. Fantastic catch, and he is putting up great numbers. Got that right, Dan. He's now got 32 yards on five catches. play and that brings up second down. Mondrial Osaka excavated some room for the runner to punch through. This O-line is fierce. There has been some good blocking on this drive, Peter, and it's really opened up some holes for them. Well, that's what it's all about, Dan, making room for your back. Cragen tackles him for a short loss. Greg Cragen got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his second tackle so far. Jens grabs the bullet and they get the first on third and long. Mark Rippon played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pass... Coach Dawkins doesn't agree with the call, and we're going to see the red flag. The Ironmen are challenging whether the player stepped out of bounds. Keep an eye on him to see if he goes out of bounds here. Watch him and watch the sidelines. Right there. He looks out to me. I think they'll overturn this one. After review, the player stepped out of bounds. The Ironman will not be charged with a timeout. Fourth down. I don't need to tell you, this is big! Fourth down, baby! Fourth and inches from one minute now, 31 yards. The Minutemen want to talk it over, and they take their first time out. They only need a couple here! Let's buckle down, guys!
Christie boots it from 48 yards out and it's through the goal posts and good. Bernard Christie really gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. Christie hits a boomer down the field. Goal is coming out with it. Tackled at the 23. Really, Gall got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Iron Men send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 23 yard line. Wallace takes it off the toss and takes it upfield. No one in front of him. 40, 30, 25, 10, 5, touchdown! Eddie Wallace finds the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow. Great blocking on that play. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 76 yards and one touchdown. the point after and it's good It's a boomer down the field. Harris decides to take it out of the end zone. Jukes breaks free. Stop at the 21. Cliff Harris got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. Keep your eyes open over there. From the Minutemen, 21 yards. Rippon lets it go down the right side, and it's incomplete. Trevor Jensen had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose with that gun second drop pass well Dan his inconsistency makes the coach very nervous I can tell you that second and ten from one minute and 21 minutes. Setzer brings him down behind the line at the 20. Nito Setzer thread that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. Third down, empty backfield. Rippon throws this one over the middle, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Keith Hunter runs a post pattern there, and the pass comes his way. 
but he can't make the catch. You know, that should have worked, in my opinion. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Gets the snap and hunts it away. Goal hauls it in at the 37. Brought down at the 40. The Iron Men got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their 40-yard line. Marino throws the pass, and it's caught at the 46, and he's stopped right there. Stephen Gates has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. They move the ball, and it will be second down. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Iron Men enjoying the lead, 21 to 10. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Antonio Bailey targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Third and four from four Ironman, 46 yard. Marino throws a bullet to the flat, and it's caught at the 48, stopped at the 47. That will bring up first down. Hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Second down, two receivers to the left. Marino throws a heater and he hits his man for a pickup of nine. Wallace has his number fouled on third down and converts the third down. Wallace takes it across the line and will gain close to six. Second down, coming up on the tenth play of the drive. Wallace loses two, and that will bring up third down. Dan Marino was brutalized. You know, that's a couple extra hours in the hot tub right there. That will bring up fourth down, and what a disappointment. That would have given them the first. You've got to make those plays when they come your way. No points here. We're going to bust through the line and block this kick. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Four on the play clock. 
Kite boots it from 49 yards out and has it sailed just left of the upright. Keenan Kite misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. The Minutemen, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their 39-yard line. the stop at the 37. Justin Walker targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Man, we need more out of you. Where you been today? Don't worry, man. I'm going to get turned around. Second and 20. Ball at the 37 yard line. Hunter grabs the fastball over the middle and gains about 12 yards. Keith Hunter had nobody on him, and when the quarterback saw that, he quickly shot him the ball. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. takes them even farther away from the marker. That will bring up fourth down. Fernando Lopez would not be denied and drop them for a huge loss. Big play. They come up with the big play and on third and short, they force the fourth down. Yeah, they even caused the loss of yardage. What a time to come up big. Cheat lines up to punt after the three and out. Chief gets the ball and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Kerry Chief saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Iron Men come out on offense, and they are well ahead. They'll start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Marino throws a bullet here, and the reception is made for a first and more. 30, finally stopped at the 27. Plenty more really comes to play on this baby. He makes the solid catch and then he takes off. Check it out. Give him an inch and he'll steal every yard he can. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Wallace will lose four on the play, and that brings up second down. Bednarik with the tackle. He loses four yards. Chuck Bednarik makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Pow, you're down. Nice tackle. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. Marino zips it to the left line after the ball is caught at the 26, forced out at the 22. Gary Clark had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. This has been quite a clinic on how to execute a short passing attack. Great job by the quarterback of hitting his receivers in stride so they can continue to advance the ball with their legs after the catch. one and 
they get the first on third and long. You know, Dan, this might be a nice time to try a little fade to their go-to receiver. Second down, goal to go. Wallace has his number called on second down and gets the touchdown. Eddie Wallace gets some major yardage off this move. Look here. Oh, unbelievable hurdle. That's another visit to the end zone for him, and he has some nice stats so far. Yeah, he's generated points, that's for sure, Dan. So far, he's got 79 yards and two touchdowns. Here's the extra point, and it's good. It's a boomer down the field. Harris pounds it in the end zone for a touchback. The Minutemen have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 20-yard line. Allen will take the handoff and head left, stop at the 27. Allen with the pair. Gain of seven on the play. Webb credited with the tackle. Second and three. Walker tackles him for a short loss. Justin Walker got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That will be his fourth tackle so far. What do you think of his performance, Peter? Solid game, Dan. Really carrying his sizable weight out there. Griffin sings it to the right side, and it's intercepted. Blocked down at the 23. Corey Webb has this pass dead to rights all the way, Dan. He's got the interception and enough room to run the ball and give his offense a head start. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Iron Men are really in command and have yet another shot to score. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at the 23-yard line. Ditka grabs the wrong pass and he's looking for room. Hunt it down at the 10. That will bring up first down. Mike Ditka makes the catch, but watch here what he does after the completion. Caught and now fight for more yards. You can't coach that. These guys make very great targets. Not to mention, it takes a whole defense to bring them down. Well, let me tell you something, Dan. When that bull starts roaming around in that china shop, <laughs> things get broken pretty fast.
Marino rifles this one to the end zone, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Dan Marino zinged that pass into the end zone, but was denied the touchdown. No completion. That would have been a touchdown, but instead, after the incompletion, they will face a second down. Yeah, Dan, you have to take advantage of opportunities like that. One minute now, 10 yards. Dan Marino didn't have a lot of room to sneak that ball in there. Oh, I got to see this again. Yeah, the throw is a tight fit, but he and the receiver make it work. A great catch in traffic. Good vision, good timing on the play made that work. He scanned over the matchups, found the right guy, and netted his third touchdown of the day. Oh, Dan, you can't be indecisive in this league or you won't last very long. Here's the point after, and it's good. Booms one downfield. Harris is coming out with it. Jukes again gets free. Stop at the 26. With Harris, took it out of the end zone. And while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20. So it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Minutemen haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 26-yard line. Allen gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. He picks up five on the play. Waters with the tackle. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Allen gets the call again and heads out right. Drag down at the 40. It will be first down. Nothing to sneeze at with that game, Dan. These guys are the complete rushing package, and they'll run it on you all day if you let them. That's in another run for him. He's definitely getting a workout so far. They're relying very heavily on their running game, and so far, I can't blame them. Austin tackles him for a short line. Darrell Austin would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That's his second tackle so far. All right, big play. Let's do it again. Oh, yeah. I hope they come at us the same way. Makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Corey Webb came in and got a hand on that football. Left no chance for a reception there. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air. and The offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Throws it to the left sideline, and it's incomplete. 
Marcus Allen had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. Peter, they cannot seem to connect on the long ball. They've taken some shots there, but nothing is working. Yeah, their timing is off. They need to go to shorter passes. Chee gets ready to punt it away. Gets the ball and punts it away. Galt fields the punt at the 19. Back at the 27. Willie Galt got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Iron Men have been effective with the long passes. Will they keep it up? We'll find out as we start at their own 27-yard line. Marino fires this one over the middle, and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Lenny Moore faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. Another short, quick strike, and the defense looks helpless to stop this ball control strategy. Yeah, it's a great game plan this offense has been executing, no doubt about it. Second down, two yards to go. Wallace hobbles and drops it incomplete. Eddie Wallace looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but not much. Not a lot of potential on that call. Third and two. Ball at the 34 yard line. Eddie Wallace finds the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow, great blocking on that play. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. Marino catches it over the middle and loses yards on that one. Am I too hot for you, baby? Blitz possibility here, fellas. Hands up. 36 yards. Marino throws a heater right sideline as the completion is good for six. Mike Ditka must have been pretty lonely out there on his own, but the quarterback got him the ball to cheer him up a little bit. You know, a, a gift basket, if you will. He explodes out of the gate with a number of catches. This guy, well, he, he's just a consistently good player, Peter. Absolutely, Dan. Really impressive communication with his quarterback. First on third and long. Dan Marino had only one spot where he could put the football, Dan, and that's right where it goes. Now watch how he sneaks this ball past multiple defenders. Yeah, it takes a considerable amount of poise and confidence to execute a play like this. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 310 yards and no interceptions. Marino throws this on a rope, and it's tipped. 
Incomplete. Jeremiah Williams knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second down, oh. three wideouts in the down. game. It's intercepted. <laughs> Stop at the 39. Dan Marino hurries this one out of the gate, and it costs him big time. That's not the guy he was looking for, Dan. The D really brought some pressure to bear. That's the first time he's been picked off today, and by the look on his face, well, he knows he should not have thrown that one. That is one unhappy man down there. The Minutemen are fading fast and desperately need to score. Their offense will start this drive at their 39-yard line. Seven, and that brings up second down. A pick up of seven on the play. Waters with the tackle. Let's go. Second and two. Gets the toss and runs into traffic. Little throws him for a loss at the 45. Nick Little got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. will continue to run. That will bring up first down. We gotta start putting up a better fight. Let's toughen up. Go first and ten. The clock will continue to run. Second down, both tight ends left. Rippon throws this one over the middle, and the Minutemen will take a timeout. That's their second. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Mark Ham had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's a good example of how he's not yet reached his full potential. First drop pass of the game for him, and his quarterback hopes it's his last. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Christie 
with the 41-yard attempt, and it's good. Shernard Christie sends it whizzing between the goal posts for a field goal straight down the pike. The field goal puts them a little closer to tying things up. Yeah, and that's a positive note their coach can point to when he tries to pump up his team at halftime. Christie booms one downfield. Gull decides to take it out of the end zone. Dodges a tackle. Tackled at the 23. Willie Gall took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Iron Men were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 23-yard line. Marino throws a meter right sideline and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Cabillo catches the heater left sideline and is at the 35, 15, high touchdown. Bradley Cavill is going to make a great play right here. Snags the football and then really turns on the juice. You know, he's, he's not a big scorer, usually, but he made a great play on the ball that time. Yeah, when a guy doesn't get thrown to all that much, people tend to forget about him, but I'll bet you now they know his name. Now the point after, and it's good. the heck out of this one. Harris decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 23. Cliff Harris got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Minutemen take the field with the clock at 25. 23 yards. it for his 23rd carry and maybe picks up one on the play. They tried to run the ball with you? You must be kidding me. Laugh it up. Second down and the clock is now at nine. <laughs> Allen carries it for the 24th time and heads wide left. Tackled at the 28th. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Iron Men in command of this one, 42 to 13. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Iron Men are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. 
Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Marino connected with his man on this one. A 23-yard touchdown for the home team. The Ironmen strike first and go up by seven. Midway through the first, the Minutemen with the ball at the 49-yard line. Allen got the carry as they stayed on the ground on third down, and he'd make it pay off. A 48-yard touchdown for the visitors. Still midway through the first quarter, game tied, seven all. Poole was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Ironmen, still midway through the first quarter, Moore was definitely a key player as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 72-yard touchdown for the home team. The Ironmen out in front, 14-7. After driving 49 yards on nine plays, Christie sets up for a long one here, and he's got plenty of oomph behind this one. It's through the uprights. A 48-yard field goal. The Minutemen climb back again and are now down by four. The Ironmen, end of the first quarter. Wallace on the carry here as they work the ground game, and this is a nice run. A 77-yard touchdown for the home team. Later on in the second quarter, the Ironmen winning by 11. Moore came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. They have opened it up and now lead by 18. The Minutemen, middle of the second. Webb shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Minutemen trailing 28 to 10. Marino would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 10-yard touchdown for the home team. The Ironmen moving ahead big and now lead by 25. Late into the second quarter, this time at the 40-yard line. Schmidt shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. After getting an interception, the Minutemen back by 25. Allen got the carry as they stayed on the ground on third down and he'd make it pay off. They finally get on the board and are now down by 22. The Ironmen, late in the second quarter, Cavill was definitely a key player as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 63-yard touchdown for the home team. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Ironmen are up big at halftime, 42-13. to 13. Excellent job, Dan. The Iron Men will get the ball first here in the second half, and they are dominating this game. Currently, they are up large, 42 to 13. Let's get down to the field and the action. Christie sends it away to begin the second half. Galt decides to take it out of the end zone. Great three, tackled at the 25. Willie Galt took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Iron Men will start the drive at their own 25-yard line. 25 yards. for a first down. The last pass was complete to Clark. Gain of 17 on the play. First down, Iron Man. Cliff Harris finally makes the play, but not in time. Let's have another look. Oh, yeah, gave up a lot of yards before forcing him out of bounds. That's tackle number six for him. Good game so far. Oh, definitely. Great. First and 10. Ball at the 42-yard line. Marino passes this one after the play action, and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. 
Dan Marino laid this pass in beautifully, rendering the defense irrelevant. When you can make accurate throws like that, the whole field starts to open up for you. Well, I, I don't know if any defensive adjustments were made at halftime, Peter. I sure can't tell. <laughs> This quarterback just knows how to make everyone play his game. In his third great quarter, he's still forcing the D to play by reaction, Dan, which takes people right out of their hands. Putting it down at the 28. He picks up 23 on the play. First down, Ironman. Dan, check out all the yards he snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 102 yards on nine carries. Let's go! First and ten from the minute pass, 28 yards. Henderson carries this one off to the right and will gain close to six. Henderson with the carry. Gain of six yards on the play. Parks credited with the tackle. Second and three from the Minutemen. 22 yard line. Wallace gets the call on second down and gets just past the line, but not by much, before being brought down. Eddie Wallace stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Marino rifles it out left side and they convert on third down. Gary Clark faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. Boy, he zips through the passing lanes in those medium zones. Yeah, the defense has to try and close him out of there or he's just going to keep on coming. Loses two, and that brings up second down. Chuck Bidnarik makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Pow, you're down. Nice tackle. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles. Marino lets it go here, and it is not real in, incomplete. Mike Ditka ran a post pattern on that last one, but the ball eluded him. No catch. That would have been a big play and a big first down, Peter. They just don't sync up. Good call. Maybe next time it'll work. Third and 12 from the Minutemen, 13-yard line. Clark catches the bullet out left, and he's in for the score. The last pass was complete to Clark. Dan Marino makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. Now we are seeing signs of true greatness. He's looking like a league MVP. All oh, those defensive backs should look in the mirror and ask themselves if they're really ready to play this game. McKee will hold the kick. Now the extra point, and it's good. Kicking off. There it is. 
deep to receive. Tight. It's a boomer down the field. Harris downs it for a touchback. The Minutemen, they have taken the field and they've been having a tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as we start at their own 20-yard line. <laughs> Allen dodges this one way out right and maybe picks up one on the play. Marcus Allen used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Gets taken down near the line and actually loses a bit. Nick Little targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. I want to see you tighten up that side of the line. One minute, man. 21 yards. Griffin really puts some arm behind this one, and it's caught at the 49, 25, 15, chased down at the 9. It'll be first and goal. 70 yards on the play. First down, Minutemen. Keith Hunter shakes his opponent at the line and beats him on a quick pattern. They just couldn't cover him man up, plain and simple. Yeah, great catch and execution. This is a big halftime adjustment by the coaching staff. After picking away in the first, they come out of the tunnel launching heat. Yeah, if they can connect on a few more of those, watch out. Has his number called on the first down and heads wide right. Lopez penetrates and makes the stop at the 11. Fernando Lopez read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Let's get this done! No touchdown here! You heard him! Lopez gets the sack at the 12. That will bring up fourth and goal. A loss of four yards on the play. Fernando Lopez sacks the quarterback deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, man, that's going to push them way back. Great defensive play. That'll be his first sack of the game. Fourth down, goal to go. from 29 yards out, and it's good! Shernard Christie puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. That field goal makes him three for three out there. Hasn't missed one yet. And you can't coach that. Christie booms one downfield. 
Goal is coming out with it. Stop at the 25. Willie Gall got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Iron Men got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 25-yard line. Marino throws a bullet and the ball is caught at the 28 and he stopped right there. Dan Marino played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. Dan, that shows you that a lot of bullets can amount to as much or more than one big cannon shot. Well, he's forcing the deep coverage up a little more each short pass. The D better stay on their toes. They might get tricked. Second down, tight end to the left. Moore grabs the floater right sideline and is looking for more. Five and touchdown. Lenny Moore makes one beauty of a play here. He catches the football, but he sees he's got some room to move, and he ends up with a phenomenal run. Gotta love seeing open field like that in front of you. They score again, and they are starting to pull away here. Yes, they are, Dan. They've got a nice pad now. If they stay focused, this game is theirs. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Crushes this one deep. Harris pounds it in the end zone for a touchback. The Minutemen came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Rippon zings it to the right side, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Troy Drayton took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. It's intercepted. Brought down at the 41. Webb. Corey Webb. Oh, check out this replay, Dan. Watch the focus here. He's got it, and I must say that was some clever maneuvering to get into a position where he could pick it off. You can't coach instincts like that. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. The Iron Men start this drive with great field position at the 41-yard line. Marino passes a high long one, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Complete to Ditka. A pickup of 22 yards on the play. 
Mike Ditka sees that he's singled out there and does just enough in that pattern to gain separation. Oh, he knew where he had to be and got his hands in position to haul that one in. These guys make very great targets, not to mention it takes a whole defense to bring them down. Well, let me tell you something, Dan. When that bull starts roaming around in that china shop, <laughs> things get broken pretty fast. Whoa! Get the carry on first down and gains about One. three yards. Gain of three on the play. Bednarik with the tackle. Second and six from the Minutemen, 16 yard line. Watch the pass! Watch the pass! Double, double, double! Double, double! Double, double! Double, double! Double, double! Double, double! Marino throws this one right sideline, and it's cut for the score. Dan Marino zings this one perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise throw. We keep doing plays like this, and he could be in big trouble. Now we are seeing signs of true greatness. He's looking like a league MVP. All those defensive backs should look in the mirror and ask themselves if they're really ready to play this game. Here's the point after, and it's good. Tight, it's a boomer down the field. Harris decides to take it out of the end zone. Dodges a tackle, dragged down at the 20. Cliff Harris got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Minutemen, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. Nichols brings him down behind the line at the 19. Tony Nichols read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles. Craigan gets the sack way back at the 14. With the sack. A loss of five on the play. Greg Cragen gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. Peter, he has put the hurt on the quarterback in this contest. You got that right. So far, he's got three tackles and two sacks. And takes the catch out to the left, and he will be well short of the marker. Fourth down coming up. Bobby for the king! How about blocking this thing? Come on, let's swarm this guy! Chief lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Deep to receive. Takes the snap and punts it away. Goal catches it at the 39. Right down at the 42. Willie Galt got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered.
The Iron Men are really in command and have yet another shot to score. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their 42-yard line. Wallace takes it off the toss and passes the line. Tackled at the 47. Wallace with the carry. Gain of five on the play. Faison credited with the tackle. Second down from the shotgun. Second and five from your Ironman. 47 yard. Marino fires this one over the middle and it falls incomplete. Injury on the field. It looks like we have an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Kamal Faison is in some pain out there, and for it to affect him like this, he must really be hurting. Third and five. Ball at the 47 yard. Let's go, D! That's what we're here for! Cut, cut, cut! 16! I got two over here! Go. I got two over here! 21! <laughs> Webb makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Eric Webb knocked that pass down. And he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. <laughs> Berger oh, lines up to punt after the punt. three and out. Harris is deep to receive. Here I come, punter. I'm coming. I'm going to block the punt. Berger takes the long snap and punts it away. Harris steals the punt at the 11. Great three. Hammered down at the 27. On the field. It looks like we have an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Shane Coleman is in some pain out there. And for it to affect him like this, he must really be hurting. The Minutemen have had First some trouble ten. moving the ball First recently. Minute, we'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 27-yard line. Roberson has this one fly off his fingertips incomplete. Brian Roberson tried for the catch, but it glanced off his fingers. You know, it was pretty close, but unless you secrete glue through your pores, you're going to need a better grip on that pass. Peter, they cannot seem to connect on the long ball. They've taken some shots there, but it, nothing is working. Yeah, their timing is off. They need to go to shorter passes. Rippon throws this one right sideline and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Mark Rippon demonstrated his arm strength back there with a solid cross field pass. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Reels in the football, and that's not enough. He's short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Marcus Allen got out of bounds after getting some yardage, but you can tell that it wasn't as much as he wanted. Peter, they couldn't get the last few yards they wanted, and now it is fourth down. Boy, a good call, but as you said, they just couldn't get the last few yards they needed. 
deep to his shoe. Gets the ball and punts it away. Goal catches it at the 21. Brought down at the 25. Willie Galt didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Iron Men have been effective with the long passes. Will they keep it up? We'll find out as we start at their own 25-yard line. Wallace takes it for his 14th carry and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Chuck Bidnarik targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. He's got seven tackles so far. Let's go! Second and ten. Ball at the 25-yard line. Picked up about seven, and that will bring up third down. Faison was shaken up earlier, and we've gotten a report on his condition. What did they say, Peter? The team doctor's diagnosis is that he twisted his ankle. They are taping him up again, and they've told our producers that he will be ready to go back in later in the game. Well, we'll hope for the best. Thanks, Peter. Third down, three yards to go. Wallace will get the carry on third down and heads up field. Eventually tackled at the 44. First down. 24 yards on the play. First down, Ironman. Eddie Wallace turns a good play into a great one, and it all comes down to one great move. Oh, yeah, baby. If you can't go through him, fly over him and keep right on going. What a run, man. He is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. And up to now, he's got 140 yards on 16 carries. Henderson will take the handoff and gets just past the line, but not by much, before being brought down. Coleman had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now we've gotten word on his condition. Peter? Well, apparently he's suffering from a pulled bicep. They are icing it down, but it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon. Thanks, Peter. up a yard on the play and that brings up third down That's and that'll do it the for the third quarter, quarter. the iron <laughs> men in command of this one 63 to 16. this is a big one boys we need to stop i've been up i've been up Marino throws a high, long one to the right, and they get the first on third and long. anymore and three guys covering him but look what happens incredible catch they've really been working that right side he keeps popping open and they keep throwing it to him well dan the defense has to give up something but this guy may force them to change strategies sooner than later Wallace cruises out to the left side and picks up eight yards on the play. Eddie Wallace can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Ten 
Whoa! Gets the call again, and the searches for a hole. Reese tackles him for a short loss. Clyde Reese got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They managed to hold them behind the line of scrimmage, but they have another shot at it coming up. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. Third down, two tight ends in the game. Henderson picked up about seven, and they convert the third down. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. First and goal. Well, do you play run or flood the zone to disrupt the pass? You almost have to do both right here. Marino ropes this to the end zone and it's off his fingertips incomplete. Jack Snyder reached out and it barely glanced off his fingertips. Oh, so close. That would have been a touchdown, but instead, after the incompletion, they will face a second down. Yeah, Dan, you have to take advantage of opportunities like that. Second and goal. Picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Gain of one on the play. Huff with the tackle. This kind of pickup should be no problem for us. Great. Third and goal. Marino throws to the end zone, and it's off, incomplete. Dan Marino winged it into double coverage, but luckily nobody was able to catch it. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. In for the field goal attempt, two-yard line. McKee on the hold. from 19 yards and this one is up and in. Keenan Kite has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. Booms one downfield. Harris is coming out with it. Brings the tackle. Brought down at the 24. Cliff Harris got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Minutemen haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 24-yard line. Allen gets the toss and runs into traffic. Austin brings him down behind the line at the 21. Daryl Austin targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Second and 12. Ball at the 21 yard line. Gains five on the play, and that brings up third down. 
picked up a five on the play. Nichols credited with the tackle. Third and two. Uh, one minute. Twenty-six yards. Gets the sack way back at the 19. It'll be fourth down. Greg Cregan gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. That's number four on the game for this defense. They've made their presence felt. Yes, they have, Dan. Gets the ball and punts it away. Gold fields the punt at the 37. Pop hard at the 44. The Iron Men will begin the drive at their 44 yard line. Galt grabs the bullet, and that will be a gain of three yards. Willie Galt nabbed the pass without any challenge whatsoever from the defense. When you're that open, every quarterback in the league can get it to you. This has been quite a clinic on how to execute a short passing attack. Great job by the quarterback of hitting his receivers in stride so they can continue to advance the ball with their legs after the catch. Cliff Harris targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another tackle, and it seems like we're always calling his name. What a hitting machine in the secondary. He's definitely carrying his weight back there. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. More takes the catch on the right sideline, and they get the first on third and long. Plenty more faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach yeah. that. First and ten. From the Minutemen, 40 yards. Wallace goes right up the middle and gains about three yards. Wallace with the carry. A pickup of three on the play. Harris credited with the tackle. Second and six from the Minutemen, 37 yard. You picked the wrong deal to run the ball off. Red, 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 Joe Schmidt read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles. Marino just rifles this one, and it's caught just barely past the markers for the first. First down, Ironman. Dan Marino makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. 
<laughs> wow. Now that is one confident QB. Another terrific throw and completion. This team is piling up serious yardage and putting consistent pressure on the defense. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Even into the fourth quarter. If they keep this up, Dan, they'll have this game locked down. Sounded almost Shakespearean. Almost. Wallace gets the call on first down and searches for a hole. Tackled at the 26. Second and six. Down. Six. We gonna be in your face all day. Red. Gun. 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 Gray. 34. I'm kicking down. I'm kicking down. Marino throws a heater right sideline and he's on target for a gain of five. Pick up a five on the play. Third down, just a single receiver on the field. Wallace will get to carry on third down and picks up the first down. Eddie Wallace stayed with his blockers on that last one and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. A big gain on third and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. We'll take this one off the toss and picks up a couple. Eugene Henderson stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Minute man, 15 We didn't stop it off right here. left and is well past the markers for a first down. Plenty more faces double coverage, but nothing seems to phase this guy. Great move to get open. Well, the defense had him blanketed, but he's the only one that made a play on the ball. He hasn't lost anything here, even into the fourth. That is a well-conditioned athlete. Well, he definitely put the crunch on the D with solid numbers in every quarter. What a one-man wrecking crew. Well, Dan, both pass and run are viable, but I wonder if we'll see the quarterback sneak here. Henderson takes it across the line and gets the touchdown. Oh, solid run here, Dan. You want a running back who can make those short, critical yards when it matters. The touchdown was his for the taking, Peter. Good individual effort. Yeah, and great teamwork, too. Lover is back on the line, setting into position for the snap. Here's the extra point, and it's good. And Wangu is back on the field after getting checked by his trainers. Tight rushes this one deep. Harris decides to take it out of the end zone. Another move tackled at the 21. Cliff Harris took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Minutemen haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 21-yard line.
Poole tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Scott Poole didn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Rippon tips it to the left sideline and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Keith Hunter easily outclassed his defender on that catch and he had that play all the way. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Wooden tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Frank Wooden read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. You know, Peter, if this were volleyball, that would have been the defense's sixth spike of the match. Yeah, the O keeps setting it up and the D keeps sending it back. The minute men are back to punt. deep to receive. Takes the long snap and punts it away. Golf takes it at the 34. Stop at the 40. Really golf didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Iron Men got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their 40-yard line. Henderson makes the catch out to the left and is well past the markers for a first down. Henderson. A pickup of 16 yards on the Dan Marino sings this one perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise throw. They keep doing plays like this, <laughs> he could be in big trouble. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got over 600 yards and seven touchdowns. First and 10 from the minute end, 44 yards. Marino fires this one over the middle and it's tipped incomplete. Clyde Reese anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. Oh, for this is getting ridiculous. The offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. We'll get the carry on second down and picks up a couple. Eddie Wallace used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. From the Minutemen, 42 yards. Wallace carries it for the 27th time and gets taken down well short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Joe Schmidt brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. He's now up to six tackles. Berger gets ready to punt it away. I've selected to punt. Harris is deep to receive. Oh, let him get that point! <laughs> 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 
Berger gets the snap and punts it away. The Minutemen let it bounce, but will pin the knee at the five. Robert Berger finds the old coffin corner, as they like to say. <laughs> Heck, I like to say it too. Out of bounds, and that's perfect. Buried them inside the five-yard line. The Minutemen are way down late in the game. They'll need some magic as they start this drive at their own five-yard line. Griffin throws a bullet and the completion is good for six. Makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Corey Webb turned his hips to get into position and tipped that ball away. Solid coverage. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Sings it to the right side, and this one is incomplete. Jay Sanders had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Peter, they cannot seem to connect on the long ball. They've taken some shots there, but nothing is working. Yeah, their timing is off. They need to go to shorter passes. Fourth down, and they're going for it. short of the markers. They will forfeit the ball on downs. Corey Webb makes his presence known on this one. He's going to haunt the ball carrier's dreams for a while. A oh, big tackle on fourth. That's how you stop a conversion. They don't get the fourth down conversion they needed, Peter, although I don't think they should have punted it away. Now right. that far behind, they are definitely in go for broke mode. Unfortunately, they got broke. The Iron Men take the field and will probably look to take time off the clock. They'll start at the 14-yard line. Wallace bulldozes right of center and will gain close to six. With the carry. Gain of six yards on the play. Bednarik with the tackle. Second and four from the Minutemen, eight-yard line. some major yards on that run. This is a well-prepared rushing game. Well, Peter, credit his speed, coupled with the great blocking that he got, and that ensured he had room to run. They are the total package. Phenomenal game for him so far, Peter. He surprised everyone by getting into the end zone this month. Oh, what a game. Here's the point after, and it's good. Crushes this one deep. Harris 
decides to take it out of the end zone. Dodges a tackle, stopped at the 20. Penalty marker down on the play. Let's listen to the call. Holding, number 63, receiving team, half the distance to the ball from the spot of the foul. First down. Rodney Ferguson clearly held his man back there. Offensive holding was the right call. The Minutemen will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 1.55. Rippon makes the pass and it's tipped incomplete. Dante Lucas turned his hips to get into position and tipped that ball away. Solid coverage. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Hey, man, how about throwing a few balls to our guys instead of another pick? Thanks for reminding me. Great. Second and ten. Ball at the ten yard line. Crutchfield tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Autry Crutchfield knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That'll give us a third down, and the defense was ready for that call. Well played, and a good job of not giving up the short pass. Third down, empty backfield. Let's it go down the right side, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Trevor Jensen, close back there, but no dice. He couldn't quite get his hands around that mid-range missile. Well, after three metal lapses, it may be time to stop throwing to him. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, Dan, my sentiments exactly. Okay, come on now. After four drop throws, you shouldn't be allowed to play anymore. Go home! <laughs> Amen. This one falls incomplete, and they will turn the ball over on down. It'll be first and goal. Frank Wooden gets a hand on this one. Right there, that's how you play D. Well, they don't convert on fourth down, and that will be it for them. Yeah, chalk this one up in the L column, Dan. It's all over. The Iron Men will start this drive with unbelievable field position with the clock at 139. Rip, 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 rip. Deuce, 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 right here. <laughs> Whoa! The Minute Men take their first time up. Second down, the clock is stopped at 1.34. Henderson takes it off the cross. The minute men will take a timeout. That's their second. Kelly Huff read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got six tackles. Third down, three wideouts in the game. The Minute Men take a timeout. That's their five. final one. Okay. Pick up a five on the play. Scott credited with the tackle. Hey! 
Hands up! Hands up! Let's knock it down! Height will come in to attempt a field goal from the five yard. McKee will hold the kick. With a 22-yarder and it's through the goalposts and good. Keenan Kite puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. Boots the heck out of this one. Harris is coming out with it. Dodges the tackle. Hammered down at the 22. Running back for a gain of 21 on the play. Ball will be placed around the 22 yard line. The Minutemen start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 119. Warkin pulls it in right side, and the clock continues to wind down. Rippon fires this one over the the catch is made for the first. The clock continues to tick down. First down, the clock is now at 102. Morton hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Kevin Morton. As we check out the replay, Dan, you can see that he can't quite get his hands around this mid-range rocket. There, it's incomplete, and Peter, why did that happen? Well, a lot of small factors are piling up here. A little off from the quarterback, the route redirected by the D, added up, and, well, that's an incompletion. Peter, they cannot seem to connect on the long ball. Oh. They've taken some shots there, but it, nothing is working. Yeah, their timing is off. They need to go to shorter passes. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Mark Rippon looked rushed on that play, Dan, and ended up throwing incomplete. That may be a bigger incompletion than it looks. You're right, Dan. A shorter third down is an easier third down. Instead, they will stay put and have to take another shot. Third down. The clock is stopped at 45. They get the first on third and long. Rippon spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second and ten from the minute man, 40 yard. catches this one and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. Rippon spikes the ball and that will stop the clock. Second down, the clock is stopped at 15. Hand snags the missile and he's in for the score. Six points, baby! 
Bobby. Woohoo! Mark Rippon gambles big time on this play, and it works. Makes it a little more exciting to watch, too. Oh, if he wasn't accurate on this throw, it would have been an interception. It's a real fine line. Well, that touchdown looks like the classic case of a little too late, Peter. Yep, the game got away from him early on, and now there's just not enough time left to make anything happen. the point after and it's good the point is good Pooches it and Wangu gathers it up at the 43. Stopped at the 42. Alfonso and Wangu is quick to react when the onside kick comes bouncing his way. Watch him move and get the football before the kicking team has a shot. It's all about reflexes. A gutsy call, and when you live high stakes, you win big or. You lose big. Well, they lost, and now we'll see how they recover. <laughs> McKee takes a knee, and the clock will tick down. And that is going to do it for this one. The Iron Men come out on top, 83 to 23. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. So, the ball game is over. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Wallace is going to get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground, and he makes the most of this one. A 23-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Ironmen moving ahead big and now lead by 36. Later on in the third, Hunter emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. That set up a 29-yard field goal. Answering right back, the Ironmen out in front by 33. Moore was definitely a key player as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. They have opened it up and now lead by 40. The Minutemen midway through the third. Webb was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Minutemen down 56 to 16. Marino would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 16-yard touchdown for the home team. The Ironmen now up by 47. Towards the end of the third quarter, all at their own 31. Wallace got the call on third down, and he did not disappoint. That set up a no-brainer 20-yard field goal. Midway through the fourth, the Ironmen out in front by 50. Henderson got the carry here, and he was able to break through. They're now up by a bunch. The Ironmen, middle of the fourth. Marino would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Unfortunately, the drive stopped shortly afterwards, and they had to punt it away. The Ironmen up a bunch to 16. Wallace was able to make things pay off on the ground. An eight-yard touchdown for the home team. The Ironmen moving ahead big and now lead by a bunch. After driving four yards on three plays, Kite would come on and connect on the field goal try. The Ironmen connect on their second field goal. Still late in the fourth quarter, the Minutemen down by a bunch. Rippon would find his target on this one. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The Ironmen serve up a blowout, a bunch to 23.
Let's wrap it up by congratulating our 2K Sports Player of the Game. Dan Marino proved once again why he's one of the best. Well, the name of the game for the quarterback is putting points on the board for his team, and he certainly was able to do that in this one. He found the end zone repeatedly, making it look easy out there, but we know it's not. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.